in my hand is our newly purchased mm -hmm. auto pilot. So if you're an electrician, don't watch this. Wilfred did a wicked bicycle kick and broke his arm. Look at this. Oh, big Whoa. We've gone from our lovely little anchorage in the northeast of Tenerife and now we're back in Santa Cruz in a marina. We came to drop off Rob Boone because he has to go back to work but he works remote so he's in a cafe right now. We're going to crack on with a few bits and bobs. There is a decathlon up the way that sells water bladders that we need to stock up on. There's big supermarkets that we need to do a big food shop in. There's loads of charneries for bits and bobs and jobs that we need to do. We need to collect David because he's just wandering about <laughs> right around somewhere. We also need to check out so we're going to go ask the marina office where we go to do that just so we don't waste time going to the Capitania because as you know we've struggled with finding out where we go. But yeah, let's go do that. Uh, I've changed shirt. We just checked out. It was actually a very simple procedure. The marina ladies. is literally just here very and the office is literally just there. We signed all the paperwork, got our passport stamped. They said, how long are you here for? We said, a day, and then we're going to Cape Verde's. Shh, we're not. And then we stood at the counter and carried on talking about how we're going to spend another two weeks in Tenerife, and they didn't clock on, which is really nice. If you're watching, I'm sorry. I don't know, when you see this, we'll be gone. Yeah, we'll be gone. So, in my hand is our newly purchased mm -hmm. auto pilot uh, tiller system. Thanks, Yuri. Big shout out. Um, just a quick thing. We want to give Yuri a proper shout out. Um, his business is called Ship Keepers. This is his uh, card. We will put the information properly in the link uh, in the description below. Basically, uh, he does anything to do with boats, and if he doesn't do it, he will know who does it. Um, yeah, he's been an amazing help. He's hooked us up with lots of things, helped us out a lot. Uh, he's a really nice guy. So, if you're in Las Palmas and Gran Canaria, hit him up if you need anything. Back, back to the back to the video team. One of the things we need to do to install it is we're going to wire in the plug and replace the old plug which is there and then this we need to make a new hole for the pin because when you put it in it's like right up against the wood so it doesn't actually move so we need to move the pin about an inch inboard and then that means the tiller pilot can move I've changed into my work clothes so you know something's actually happening <laughs> The tiller pilot we've marked out some, some strips to go to add to that bit of wood. This wood just was found at the bottom of yeah, our boat. Yeah, we just had this. It's like, very obviously is something. It definitely is something important. But we just don't know what it is and we've tried it everywhere. <laughs> as soon as we uh, cut it, we're gonna find out what it was for. It's very annoying. It's very uh, annoying. Hey, hey. What are we making out of that? Spice rack. So at the moment, all of our spices live in a tin in this cupboard, but it takes up so much room. So we're gonna put a spice rack up. Just a strip along here, spices. Then we can get rid of that box and then we have more room in there. Off on a lunch break. Hi, I'm here too. Ben's been editing all morning. Quick little uh, side note. So my books that my sister bought me like three, four years ago are falling apart. You can see it's all coming off at the front, but I've fixed a couple of areas. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can tell as it's, I was such a master shoe cobbler. <laughs> There's a bit of glue on the back, don't know if you can notice, and uh, now they're fully operational again, minus the front that it's still fixed. Back in business. I fixed the front of these. Look, that's a proper job, that. You can't even tell that's been glued. But yeah, they've got plenty of life left in them. So we're back from lunch. We had an excellent sandwich from an excellent little local place. Back to working. David's just screwing and gluing. Trying to. Trying to. He's putting on the, uh, which will later be the base for the tiller pilot um, this gets sunk into that and then the tiller pilot goes into that and then I've just fixed up our very DIY spice rack so we'll see how long that stays up for and now remounting our one of our weird fire extinguisher things it's gonna go mount here above the hubs ready to rock ready to rumble and then to wiring time on the tiller pilot once again I'd like to apologize to all the fine intelligent people that taught me woodworking I am better than this, I just don't have many tools and uh, uh, can't be asked. We don't have any screws long enough, so what I'm doing is sinking screws into this block and then the covering up block is gonna be, Cheers. gonna have a block to cover it. We're gonna make it look pretty one day, we'll paint it yellow or something. And then the hole's gonna be drilled about where my thumb is there. Let's go straight down. And then we'll put the thing in there and then, you know, it's all gonna work, it's all gonna be grand. I am better than this. So, 
the new plug is a different different thing. The last plug, just the wires went through the wall, but this one, the whole um, wire assembly needs to be through the wall. So David had to drill a bigger hole through the fiberglass. Ideally, we would run new wires through and there'd be tin wires, but there's already wires here. <laughs> I can't be asked. <laughs> so we're going with the old wires. There, it was a bit grim copper at the end, but I've cut it off. I've gone back to nice copper. Um, they're a bit thicker gauge than what is meant to be in here, but I don't know, I'm not an electrician, so. So first off, I did, I've already done this, but I've got to test which one's positive and negative. I did put a heat shrink on, a uh, red heat shrink on the one that is positive, but then I put it through a P-clip inside and it slid all the way down. So I'm now just gonna double check <laughs> so I don't get it wrong. So if you're an electrician, don't watch this. I can't wait to see all the comments after, after this video. <laughs> yeah, like, you're a fucking idiot. If it works, it works. Ream it down, ream it down. Look at that flow dog. Okay, my first worry for all you electricians who are going to complain, and I already know that I'm scared that these two wires are going to touch each other because there's loose, there's loose bits. If it keeps shorting out, that's going to be the reason why, I reckon. But we've got fuses, so the worst and the worst, it's just going to blow a fuse. This is going to be a big moment. This is going to be a I'm big explosion. For <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's on. Stand by me. So is it just on? Is it just turn on? Because if so, I've got it wrong. So, as I said earlier, I'm not an electrician. Put them on the wrong ones, haven't I? <coughs> Bear with. Uh. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I'm getting 13 volts. So it has to be I'm putting it in the wrong place, surely. But that. Using the teleprompter, page seven. Uh, we're troubleshooting because it's not working. So now we're just going to jury rig it straight to the battery and see if the unit's actually working. Because if not, then uh, we're going to have a problem. I think it's just not getting enough flow up to the thing. I don't understand electrics. <laughs> something, something, not enough amps. Something, something, wires. It beeped. Is it on? Yeah. Fully? Yeah. Okay. Cool. It works. Cool. It's the something to do with the wire not being able to carry enough amps to the back of the boat. So, how the fuck are we going to solve that? So, we went out, for, we went and had sandwiches for lunch, I came back with a fresh mine. Before we did anything else, I just troubleshooted everything to find out where. Um, it was not working. First of all, I voltmetered the switches, the switchboard. Um, and at the switchboard, when you turn the autopilot on, the switchboard drops in voltage down to four. So it's obviously, I think the switch is the problem. To back up that theory, I changed the circuit to a different switch and it all worked fine. So it's not the old wire, it's the switch on our switchboard here. So what I've done for now is I've changed I've changed the system, so it was on this one, which was autopilot, but it's now gone down to this one. So, current solution is just swatch, switch the units over until we can get the parts to replace everything. Will we do that? Who knows? Probably not. We'll probably do it in the Caribbean. But um, for now, that's working. We're just playing, finding out things as we go. Yeah, so I will show you once it's all tidied and I'll show you it working, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Here we are, it's still not fully fitted in, but I've just downsized the wire from the copper wire to some nice small tinned wire just so the connector in here is nice. Most importantly, look at this. We got flow dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Happy chappy. So I'm just gonna put it back on the wall, put it all together, like actually fix it, and then we'll be done. Hell yeah. Wahoo! Hello. Yesterday, we had a very productive day in the morning. We went and bought loads of stuff that we needed to buy for the boat. Uh, some rigging e-bits and... A fridge. 
And a fridge, yeah, we bought a fridge. That's yeah. gonna get here next week. William and Bella have returned to us as well yesterday. Hi, I'm here. And then we all went and played volleyball on the beach and had a very lovely afternoon. And then Wilfred did a wicked bicycle kick and broke his arm. And now he's got like consumption or something and he's just lying in bed dying. We're having a great time over here. We bought him this cool sling. They'll be repping for the next maybe three Bro, months. Oh, we can write rude things we on it. We can write rude things. We can put the Boat Boys logo on it. That'd be cool. These guys are going off on a walk now. I'm staying here to both nurse Wolf and the boat, and I'll make everything nice and tidy and washed. I'm staying here so David has someone to nurse, and I'm also going to use the toilet. I didn't want to go on a walk, so Wilf's very kindly offered to pretend to be ill for the whole day, so I have something, I have an excuse. So you're going to go to the pub as soon as they leave. <laughs> I'm pretending. Right on. Yeah, me and Rob are going to go wandering now. So, we, we're going to bring you along. Right on, love you. So, Bye. Bye. So, Feel yeah. better. It's me and Rob. <laughs> we're, uh... Initial plan was for a big hike with six, six people. Yeah. yeah. Was going to be the whole gang going on a nice hike. Uh, for context, I don't think we've actually explained. Basically, we were playing volleyball. Wilfs dived for the ball. And, well, it was a bicycle kick, <laughs> but it's easier to explain as it as a dive. As a volleyball coach, I do want to specify bicycle kicking is not a part of the game of volleyball. <laughs> like, it's allowed, but it's not encouraged. So, Wilf <laughs> landed on his elbow twice and has really, really hurt himself. Last night he was up at like five in the morning, throwing up over the side of the boat because of the pain. David's staying at home to look after him. Me and Rob are just walking to the bus stop now to go get a bus all the way to the north side of the island to go to the Enaga National Park. Um, we used a website called All Trails. Mm -hmm. Found some cool routes. Um, don't really know what the size of the route we're going to do is. We haven't really decided, but we'll decide yeah. on the bus. So green. I'm used to all the blue. <laughs> oh, yes. oh yeah. Big Bloody news. Yeah. No clear direction into like which is the first part and which is the second part. So like we're gonna deviate here. We were looking at routes on the bus. We're gonna do like a 9.3k hike with like 370 meter elevation. You start. Uh, at the top and we're going to be doing a lot of downhill for the first few hours uh, and then right at the end when we're knackered it's a lot of uphill but it'll be good maybe i don't know what i'm running i'm already out of breath uh, at the first intersection we decided to go left there are some <laughs> stairs uh i'm already complaining we're two minutes in <laughs> my legs are killing me from volleyball yesterday and i'm freezing bloody cold and didn't bring it a jumper it is colder than expected we're so high up and we're so used to being at sea level Oh, it's just different. And there's trees, so you know the shape. Yo, we come from a lot of rings episode in here. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking the ring to Mamdu. <laughs> so we've been following this track for the last like half an hour, maybe. Now we're going down this. <laughs> this is more like it. We're going a little bit off grid. Off grid, baby. Rob's currently wearing his ASOS finest shoes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got my Salamons on. They got no tread on the bottom though. <laughs> it's gonna be slippy. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently it's so it's this sort of steepness. You guys can't really tell, but it's like yeah, call it 60. <laughs> it's like a 60 degree descent, and then from the bottom we got to climb back up about that as well. I think it's the same sort of steepness, so we might get stuck at the bottom. You never know. This might be the last Boat Boys vlog you ever watch because I've got the GoPro. So look at him go. All right, we made it. We came down from here, came to this nice, lovely path. We did start walking that way slightly, uh, and then Rob checked the map and it's done it. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. He's filming now. We're alive, we're alive. Look at this. Whoa. That's stunning. That is stunning. We think our, our route is going to weave us all the way down this side of this part of the valley and then into the center and then back up. Can oh, it has to, right? Yeah, because like, see look, that? this is where we'll go. So that has to be somewhere over there. We made it maybe another uh, five minutes down the road. And this is our view. 
We're going to sit right here and have lunch. Yeah. <laughs> the mega sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what a spot. This is great. Lunch devoured. We're not halfway yet. Now we follow the road for a little bit, and then we end up down there somewhere. And all the way back up this here mountain. I'm ready. I'm very full. <laughs> but I'm ready. Oh, Let's go! Let's go! I don't know. Yeah, that might be a lot of the restriction. So, we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, just past another hiker going the other direction. He said, bloody hell, it's warm. He went, oh, you're English. Me too. Bingo, if you're watching. Hello, mate. Good to meet you. <laughs> oh, yeah, also, we're at the pub now. We found, we found a bar. We're about halfway. Rob needs a loo, so we might also just get a small beer. Very cute bar inside. Well done, beer. We just need to start to climb now. <laughs> yeah, really making ourselves heavy for the way up. All the way up there somewhere. This is it. This is now the incline. Yep, we've, started. We've, we've surpassed the lowest point. It's all up from here. I'm sweaty. We're in this random, random village. Listen, silence. <laughs> <laughs> Rob and I were just saying that it's amazing that in only like six, seven kilometers, yeah. we've experienced so many different types of foliage, so many different like species of plant and tree, never in the same space. They've all got their own little area. Every corner you go around is different. And I wish I knew the science behind it, I wish I could tell you more. But I don't know, <laughs> and I'm also really tired. Ah. <sighs> I'm wet. I'm steaming up as well. It's literally been stairs for the last 2k. Yep. And not like good stairs. Found a nice bridge to have a rest on. What have you noticed, Rob? There's a beautiful sign here telling us it's closed. <laughs> you having fun? Great fun. <laughs> I'm having an awful time. <laughs> Where's the flat bit? This is it now, elevation until we finish. <laughs> <laughs> Two more kilometers. Yeah, we did it. We're on the bus back. The bus driver. When we were in that random, random town at the bottom of the of the trail, we saw him in the pub. <laughs> and now he's driving us back like an absolute menace. <laughs> we'll be back in about 10 minutes. And it's normally a 50 minute drive. <laughs> Great stuff.